say you're going down this direction back. Let's say the average depth is probably about seven to eight feet. And it's got both dots here and there. All of you fine. So you're just throwing the same bait. How often do you switch up cables? Every other cast, every cast. Just whatever you feel like you need to switch up. Or I, I, I ask about how do I change my retrieve. I change them quite a bit uh, throughout the day. When I'm, a, you know, I, I said this earlier. A fish can't talk. How do they talk to us? They bite. And that's the only way they can tell us. Anything. They bite. They bite hard. They, they dip. They whatever. You know, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get a bite. And until you get a bite, you really don't know anything, do you? You don't know a thing until you get a bite. So once you get that bite, you have two things you should ask yourself. What was I doing? Was I doing some, what was I doing with that lure when he bit it? Where was my lure at when he bit it? And why was that fish positioned where he was at? But a lot of times, that fish is positioned, you've got to buy it because perhaps there's a hard spot on the bottom that you don't know about, or there's a creek channel that comes in deep water closer to that, you know, that little area right there. You know, I've seen guys go and fish a whole pocket. They got a bite or two right over here out of this bush, over there out of that bush. And they and they go right on to the next pocket and they fish the whole pocket again. But when they would have they had looked, that bite come off this bush because there's a ditch that swung in there close to that brush line right there. And they got that bite over there, same thing, because there was some deep water close to the bushes right there. So when I go to the next pocket, and I'm not going to go in there and fish every bush. I'm going to go through there and I'm going to fish the bushes where that deep water comes. And that's about what I'm talking about paying attention to. And I tell kids all the time, and, and, you know, high school fishing is really taking off all over the country. And, you know, unfortunately, so many of these kids, they all want a shortcut. They want a shortcut. They want you to tell them, go right here, go right there with this bait. I mean, that, ain't, that is not helping that kid one bit. That is not helping him one bit. I'm not, I'm not totally against this, but, you, but if you tell him now, and those fish are there, and here's why. Then he, then he can kind of wrap his head around it. You know what I'm saying? It's, there is an understanding about bass fishing that, that you want to have. You want to, I, I try to teach my boys that all the time. Anytime you catch a fish, you need to ask yourself, what was different about right there? Why was that fish there? Now sometimes it's not any different. But more times than not, there is something different about where that fish was located and he's positioned and so there's a million different scenarios but ask yourself those questions you know when you do catch a fish uh, I, you know, I find fish sometimes there's no rhyme or reason why they're there no rhyme or reason they're just there and but more times than not when you find a school of fish or a group of fish or even when you're catching one at a time, there, there's a reason. There's something different about that little area where you call it that spot. And guys go through it and they never, they, they not pay attention. Pay attention to all that stuff. So this, those are things that really make you make a good fisherman a great fisherman. When you can identify the difference and then you can duplicate it. Because uh, bass fish is pretty simple. You figure out how to get a bite, and then you duplicate it. And it leads to more bites. And that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yes, sir. I've got the first part. Favorite drop shot hook and plastic. Favorite drop shot hook and plastic. Um, my favorite drop shot hook, if I know it's hooking, <coughs> where I'm just, I can do up on the great lengths, just a gamma cat through drop shot hook. 
smaller are better than bigger. I fish a lot with a size one. Depends on the lure. Size one, size one. I'll sell them every two off. Uh, if I'm, you know, Texas rigging on a drop shot, I like a light wire EWG style hook. A lot of different hooks will work. That's what I like. A lot of guys like the rebar and all that. It was great shank, but I, I still like it. I need to go to GWG, one off, two off. As far as soft plastics, and asking me my favorite soft plastic is about like asking me my favorite flavor of ice cream. I like a bunch of them. But if I could only have one, uh, if I could just have one lure to fish on a drop shot, uh, it, it would be a Strike King Baby Fat Finesse. A little baby fat is a good large mouth and small mouth. I, I can fish it wacky. I can fish it a lot of different ways. I fish wacky worm on a drop shot a lot as well. So uh, if I could just have one, one little. There's a lot of different little drop shot baits that I, I fish with. A lot of them again, right here. I've never seen very seldom Small mouth could be pretty, pretty finicky, but I've never seen a good small mouth bite or a good drop shot bite where I could catch some fish on that little one. There might be another one that might work a little better, but if I could just have one. Any other questions? Fire away. No? Right back here, we got one more. Fishing the pressure with major league fishing versus fishing the regular tournament. I, I get asked that question a lot, and it's uh, there is more pressure in major league. Uh, in, major league fishing was designed for television. And it's a good television product, and they're ready to prove that. Uh, different game, different game, totally different game. Still fishing. But it's a different game than what we play on the Elite Series. Uh, it, it is it is more pressure. I really try to not put pressure on myself. But in, in Major League, if you'll notice, uh, when I do well in Major League fishing, it's usually, uh, I, I've usually got a lure on cover some more. Think about when you don't have intimate knowledge or, or any knowledge for that matter. We have no knowledge, and you've got to you've got to cover water. And, and unless you find something, obviously sometimes you find a group of fish or whatever you, you can sit down on. More times than not, it's about covering water, and uh, it is it is it's a totally different game. But no practice, not knowing what, we can't research. We can't. We have no prior knowledge, you know, in MLS. So it's made for TV, and it's, like I said, it's a good television product. Uh, do I like fishing MLF? Yeah. Yeah, it's stressful, but yeah, I enjoy it. You think they save more fish? You think they save more fish because you're catching um, them con Conservation-wise, it's definitely, State agencies love Major League Fishing because we catch them, weigh them, and release them right there on the spot. You know, about you know, less than 90 seconds of the fish back in the water. Uh, you know, the rest of that stuff about tossing them back. You know, that, that, that's all great. Uh, a lot of that's for television. Yeah, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll forget you'll have a 10 inch and you'll pitch it back and get a 2 minute film. But it is conservation. You know, fish has to be able to load the gun before we let it go. That sort of thing. Fish falls off the lure. I'm gonna tell you, them them, them little pound sized fish are gonna fall off the lure. And most of the time, you know, most of the time, you'll see guys get penalties on MLF for two reasons. They'll swing a big fish in the boat, and they didn't hit the carpet, they'll just take the penalty. You know, three and a half, four pounds. Or they'll swing one of them little you know, pounders up there and he'll fall on the floor. We can't really help it. But uh, there again, made for TV. I know the last show that when I seen you fishing, when they started catching fish, I was like, oh shit, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got kind of a reputation of, I said it earlier, when I find them, I like to figure out how to catch every one of them. They know that's my style, so. Uh, 
lot of times I don't find, I don't find them on the kitchen, but I, I'm always hunting a group of fish. <laughs>